This is a soundbite from Tropical Teachers and Innovative Educators. Uh, I'm going to cover very quickly how to change the names of a whole bunch of files all at once on Windows. This is a Windows NT system and if you're like me you take a lot of pictures or you end up with a lot of files and you want them all to be named similarly but not the name that they have. So for example you download 200 pictures from your camera and they say DSC 001, DSC 003, you delete a bunch, they skip some numbers, the numbers don't make sense, and what you really want to say is trip to the beach 2010 or something like that. So it's pretty easy and I've got a sample of a whole bunch of files and here we go. So in this case I've got 44 files and what I realize is that I have a name that I don't like. They say TIASB and that doesn't really mean much. So what I'm going to do is Control A selects them all, or you can choose Edit and select all. Um, and then I can right click on one to rename, but in this case I'll just hit F2 and it'll automatically pick the first one. Notice the rest are still highlighted though you can barely see it. And then I give them a name that I like. So in this case the initials for this file is Teaching in Action. I'm going to put a dash. They're called Sound Bites. And now I hit enter, and the second I hit enter, all those files change to have the same name. Now it's important to note that what, they, what it does is it numbers them with the parentheses and the number. In my case, that actually matters a lot because these were numbers of chapters in a book. So my recommendation, if you're doing something where the numbering matters, make a duplicate before you change the names because there's no undo in file management. And in this case, I wanted the first one, which was chapter one, to be chapter one and notice the first one doesn't have a number. So I added a junk file so that the first one would be blank and then my actual first chapter would be one. If you're doing pictures for uh, an album, that almost doesn't matter, but it would be nice if it, it went ahead and did one, two, three instead of oh, one, two, three, or blank one, two, three. But anyway, that's a quick hack to get you out of it. This has been very useful for me, especially when it deals with photography. In this case, I'm dealing with a bunch of files from a publisher and uh, it's just nice to have a name that I like rather than the kind of obscure name they use. Um, if, to give you an example of the kind of names they give you is look at the name of this folder, 12029-da-da-da-da-da, and that just doesn't really help me. And even the one inside it, it's the author and the version number and the conversion type and the chapter, and I don't care about all that because I just want to know the chapter and which test it's for. So there you have it.